friends, I'm Maria Jose. You probably know me from my other YouTube channel with Tia Ventura. But if you don't know me, I'm a makeup artist that lives full time in her school bus. Today's video, I have again my thrift partner in crime. My thrift partner in life in crime. Good job. Boogity boogity. We are in Wisconsin. We drove all the way to Wisconsin just to go to St. Vincent's. That's the whole reason we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. I'm kidding. He's kidding. Um, we're in Wisconsin visiting family. We're here with the boss. So make sure to check out our last Tea Ventura video so you can see the whole adventure of coming back to Wisconsin and getting back on the road. So where are we today, Chase? We are in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin at St. Vincent's Thrift Store. Which I have never been. Have you been before? I've not. I've always seen it and been like, hmm, we should go in here and take a look. It seems like a huge thrift They've store. They've even got Halloween costumes. They have Halloween freaking costumes. So, let's go and check it out. There's no lot of people which I enjoy. Let's go and see. Things that I can notice is the prices are a little bit more expensive than like Goodwill or something like that. They have a lot of like name brands, like for example, this top is Banana and Republic, and it's almost nine dollars. So we'll see. You guys know I normally find something that's pretty cool this time around. I have struck out, at least for my own personal gatherings. Uh, Rose, she's found a couple of things I'm sure she already told you about. Yeah, I didn't find any more high-waisted jeans this time around. Ahoy. So I found these, it's kind of like a active pants from Nike in the men's section. These are in the size medium and they are $5. I think they're a little too big for me. Probably will wear them, but they're kind of like see-through. I think I'm gonna pass on them. Okay, next one is this skirt. I think it's so cute. You probably can wear it like with a plain t-shirt like this or with booties or heels or sandals and this one is a size 10 and it's six dollars and 32 cents next is this dress that i found in the laundry section i think it's so cute by itself or like shirt on top but i don't think i will get it because this loop over here it's broken so this continues to there you go pop out another laundry section dress super cute but too big on me that's a pass and it is almost nine dollars so no nah. next one is this top shop dress which i think it's so cute but it's too small on me like in this area it's so cute next is this skirt which is so cute too 
seems like such a good material like it's heavy and it has like these cute ruffles on the bottom it's in the size eight so it's a tiny little bit big on me i don't know how i feel about this one let's see if chase is out here baby do you like this one this skirt nah not your favorite not my favorite Another one that makes me like so sad. I love this one. So cute, but it's too tight in over here. So this area feels like, and look how this happens. Mm -mm, not happening. And it was 6.49. Super cute romper of the shoulder. And this one is size four. Okay, and last thing. It was also in the lingerie section. Is this Victoria's Secret kind of like cover up? So you could probably use it as a kimono or as a swimsuit um, cover up. But the best part is still has tags on and it was originally $48. Hey, friends of Marose's channel. They're your friends too. Hey, my friends. Well, Today was not very successful. St. Vinny's, pretty large. They have very good quality and name brands, I will say. Yeah. But they are a little bit more expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So we ended buying only one thing. I bought it. And it's uh, ladies workout capris. But, but I think they would be great climbing pants show them then your purchase they are gap fit cool awesome comfy material cool. with a short pant leg that's stretchy to go around those calves <laughs> i'm pretty excited about it only thing is okay it seems like brand new yeah like, truly i don't think like, there's not a single like, there's not a single wear mark on the it the only thing is they were they were eight bucks eight dollars I feel like I could have found something pretty similar from the Goodwill for half the price or less, but sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So let's see if we find anything at Goodwill. Let's go. Friends wish us luck. Fingers crossed. ugly stuff to wear with shorts during the cold weather in Arizona. This is the darkest fitting room ever. How are you supposed to know how you look? Can't even see yourself. So these are the things in question. Let's try them on. Really? I could fit two of me in here. That's a no-go. Alright, second one. Thanks for coming with me along that journey. Neither of these worked, sadly. That was another fail. We struck out today, didn't we? Yeah, and that's normal when you go thrifting. Like, you probably have an idea kind of what you would like to get, and you don't find it. And that's okay. We have a special guest. Pablo, can you spot him in there? Look at him being a ding ding. So we're back in the bus, it's clearly another day. We went to different stores here in Madison, Wisconsin, some Prairie, but we were not able to find a lot of things. We yeah. did, but they were too expensive. Well, we went all around the city. We went to a bunch of different Goodwills. We went to St. Vincent's Thrift Store, which is kind of a one-off thing here in central mm -hmm, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And we discovered that I am the king of this house when it comes to thrifting. Chase, I'm like, okay, let's go, Chase. And he's like, I don't need anything. And as soon as I turn around, he's gone. I'm like, 
first, he's supposed to help me recording. He disappears. Second, he comes back with his hands full and I'm like, I thought you didn't need anything. We both got something, so that's why Chase is here with me. So he's able to show you what he got and I show you what I got. We spent a total of $78. That's quite a bit. To give you some context, one of the shirts that I found was about double that, the original cost. So, we found good things in the thrift store and we're about to show you. This was at the Goodwill in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Let's start. Oh, this is yours, you wanna start? Cool, so as of recently, I have like gotten this really weird eclectic need for like 90s clothing. So this was my first spot of the day. It's this really rad sweatshirt and I think it's a big box brand. It's uh, Croft and Barrow. This thing's super thick. It's got a lot of really cool colors in it. And I feel like this is something that a really swagalicious grandpa would wear or would have been really popular in the halls of like a high school or a college in the 90s. Yeah, this is in the size medium yep. and it was $5.99. So next, it's mine. I got a sweater, so fall is coming. Being here in Wisconsin, we totally can feel the change of weather. It's already pretty cold most nights. Yeah. So like during the day, you could wear like a short and a long sleeve or short and a th tank top, but like with jacket or whatever. So I got this super cute V-neck sweater from American Eagle and it's in the size medium. I think it's super cute. What color would you say this is? Kind of a burgundy I think it's, it's a maroon. Orangey, yeah it's it's got some burnt orange and this is a medium it was 5.99 super nice i'm excited for the weather to start changing a little not too cold mine was a good mix of we're going to be in the midwest for a little while we're probably going to be in bryce canyon for a little while which it's already freezing there like yeah. dipping almost into the 20s there yeah overnight. so we're gonna need these long sleeve items. and then the other half of mine is like i'm gonna be wearing this in the 80 degree weather in arizona when we get there i'm so, so excited so like i said i've really gotten on this kick for um trippy hippie weird clothing um and this is probably a shirt from the 70s based on the material it's a cotton poly blend and Look how long this collar is. Holy what, smokes. What's the brand? It is Aero Casual Wear Getaway. Size medium, 65 poly, 35 cotton. Cost me $5. Look at this. Tell me your granddad wouldn't have been push mowing his yard while a burger was cooking on the barbecue. With khakis. He's got khakis <laughs> on, smoking a cigarette, drinking a, a bread... Budweiser or something. This is totally a grandpa shirt and I am living for it. I love these. So, funny story, Chase hates the feeling of velvet. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. What, from velvet and what else? Like those kind of soft material. Like that material, whatever this that material. is. This material. In the, in the camera it looks darker than what it is. It's like a cobalt or a steel blue. It's like a steel blue and this yeah. is in the the brand is d and ray i don't know what that is no clue it's I, cute i, I wouldn't touch it 5.99 and i'm planning on wearing it just like close like that or even like but like open yeah. on top of like something a tank else. top or something how much was it 4.99 um i love pullovers and i really love outdoor clothing um and some reputable brands when it comes to that or when it comes to that are columbia and eddie bauer and this was probably a 60 or $70 pullover. It's um, a half zip. Mm. So anyway, this was probably a 65 or $70 half zip. It honestly looks like it was gifted to someone. They wore it around their dog maybe mm. once, um, and then it Give doesn't it look like it was ever uh, worn again from there. This was the most expensive thing I picked up. It's $8, size medium, and yeah, literally looks brand spanking new. So I'm thrilled about it. I got this skirt. I was not going to pick it up, but Chase told me that I should because I could thrift Yeah, thrift flip, flip it. Um, or if she decides to keep it, she said it was a little too 
uh, big. Yeah, I seen the size is large. But we have a sewing machine on board, and I really think that we could make it smaller. Yeah. I love the look with like band tees and skirts or like different like patterns together. I think it looks so cute and yeah. I want like to do that. And this was, was $4.99. So again, going with the 90s, your dad probably wore it. Uh, this is a 100% cotton, long sleeve, full button down, and I believe this has two front pockets. Yeah, so it's got two front pockets, but the pockets on it sit rather low so it, it it honestly makes me think that it's like a fishing shirt and it's white water chambray from salty dog gant but yeah so this is size medium it's literally patterned and colored like something from the 90s and i i'm in love with it i think it's gonna be great yeah you can wear it with the shorts that you're wearing khakis wide shorts it had jeans this, yeah and, and i love that the collar buttons in three three spaces yeah. so it always looks neat no, I love it. How much did you pay for that one? This one was, I think, five bucks. My next thing still has a tag on, so it was brand new. It's from H&M, and it was originally $15 in a medium size, and I got it for $4.99. Uh, Chase is next one. This is a very expensive shirt. This is from Joseph A. Banks. This is part of their Premier Collection. It is in a size medium, and the pattern on it is kind of a houndstooth hybrid. It's not completely houndstooth, but it's about spot on, freaking as close as you can get. It's a medium. It fits perfect, true to size. I can wear this to business events, weddings, nice things, nice day outs, but I can also uh, put this on with a pair of shorts and dress it down. Um, I think the original cost on this shirt was well in the 100 plus mark, being Joseph A. Banks. Next thing for me is these, what is this? Nice. Victoria's Secret. It's for sleeping, so I found it in the lingerie section. It's like a little dress. So my plan was actually to buy it and use it as a tank top and just like put it on top like inside my jeans or shorts. Truly, I don't have a lot of things to sleep in the bus. Right. Yeah, I'm wearing like a super <laughs> big shirt right now to sleep on. So I thought something cute to sleep around will be nice to have. So it could be that I wear it to go out, but it could be that I just wear it to sleep. Yeah. This is a Calvin Klein 100% cotton sweater. And again, for the fall, I you could probably see the trend. Some things for fall, some things for all weather. Um, this is just a medium, true to size kind of sweatshirt. Um, throw it on by itself or over top of like a, a thin cotton shirt to wear shorts a lot and if it's a little chilly I could throw this on with a pair of shorts and kind of equalize myself um, and I could even put a shirt like this on underneath it let the collar pop just a little bit out of the top of it it was five bucks no it was six dollars I'm sorry six dollars six dollar dues next thing for me is these pajama pants same i don't have a lot of things to sleep right now so i'm planning on just like wearing these to go to sleep they're soft they are so i'm afraid to touch them soft. because my hands are rough that it'll like i work the us fancy pantsy but yeah they were like two dollars yeah because they didn't have a tag then you have one thing and i have one thing and they were one done. thing left yep let me tell you i found this shirt that was hip stomatic but it had a big rip in it and i thought to myself i'm not gonna wear this i probably would have but i ha i just had to convince myself that i wasn't going to and i picked up this and stuck with it instead so you don't know this about me but i am on this constant search for a linen shirt to wear to the all the beach, time at the beach relax. in the middle of the desert whatever and um everyone that i find is always so big even though it's sized for me. Um, so this is Cuba Vera. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a Guayabera. It is 55% uh, linen, 45% rayon, and no collar, which I've been looking for for a while. And then we've got one button because you would never really want to dress this up. It's kind of a dress down shirt. I don't think it's the same, but it's extremely similar. Guess how much? How much would you say that is? 
Well, I paid $5 for this. I would imagine maybe 55 95 Well, there you go. My last product. Do -do 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 $6. It's in the from the brand Marona. Is that Target? This Marona pocketbook purse. Super cute. It seems like truly like nobody uses it. Would you not say, Chase? Yeah, so it's a leather-free vegan ostrich leather purse from Marona. Cute! And it looks like it was roughly 50, 60 bucks. New. Wow, and I got it for six dollars. Give me a high five, my thrifting king. Boogity 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 boogity. So I think we made out pretty well. Yeah. I hope this video teaches you to just go open mind to thrift stores. Sometimes you don't get anything, and sometimes you spend seventy-five dollars. Seventy-eight dollars. Literally, we struck out the other day. And then we went open mind again and find a bunch of stuff. This is the deal, because we're getting a bunch of things. We have to do a massive closet cleanup. And we're gonna be posting everything that we're gonna probably sell on my Poshmark that it's gonna be linked down below. If you would like to see a video of our massive closet cleanup, hmm. <laughs> that might be fun. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my personal channel down below. And you can come and see us over at Tio Ventura. Tia Ventura Boss. If you would like to see Chase in this channel more often, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below yes or no to the massive cleanup closet. We'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye!